Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have one more Easter card for you before the big day this weekend. So I'll be using these two die sets from Tim Holtz. I'm using the Sizzix Vault Bunny and Chick, and then the older version. I forget what it is called. I don't know if it is available anymore, but definitely check the different stores and see if you can grab it. But I'm going to take out all of the pieces and then die cut everything off camera because it did take me a while to do the die cutting for this card. Tim Holtz dies take a while to die cut and there's so many different details and it is tedious but it is so worth it in the end as you start to piece all of the pieces together the die cuts come to life and you can create really beautiful cards so I'm just getting this ready and I didn't cut out all of the layers because I was a little confused using this for the first time so I'm actually going to come in with my spectrum norm markers and add in some of the details and color instead of doing all of the layers so that's something you can definitely do as well to even maybe get a different image or a different not a different image a different look than cutting out all of the layers so now I'm just continuing to glue everything down and then I will add in the colors, some of the colors with the spectrum norm markers like I mentioned. So I just want to take this time to say Happy Easter. I hope you have a great weekend however you celebrate it and hopefully you get some crafting time as well. Crafting time it's always a wonderful time and for me it's super relaxing and fun so happy Easter to all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video have a very blessed Easter so now I'm working on the chick I have put all of the layers that I did cut out together on the bunnies and I have all these extra pieces from the banner and I didn't want them to go to waste. So you're going to see how I use those in the end. I put those on the inside of the card and I really like how it turned out. So I cut out the glasses and I really wanted them to work. I love the glasses on the bunny on the sample but I didn't feel like it was working for the card and where I was going with it so my bunnies don't get glasses. I will have to revisit this stamp set. I mean, this die set. I'm so used to saying stamp set. I will have to revisit this die set and put glasses on the bunnies one day. Yes, and make another card. So I'm adding that detail in with the Spectrum Norm markers, giving it a, a different look than using all of the layers you could definitely do ink with this as well to give your die cuts more dimension even if you cut out all the layers or if you don't have the right cardstock you could go ahead and color it or ink it up so now all of the die cuts are glued together and we can start working on our background so I'm going to use some Distress Oxide inks to blend a background here. I'm going to use two different ones. And I love how this background comes out. It has that same vibe as my last card that I posted. Fun, whimsical, and it kind of reminds me of a galaxy. I love the blues and the purples that come into this card. So I'm using the Distress Sprayer to add some interest, some splotches, however you want to say it. I love how the Distress Oxides react with the water. I'm just dabbing it off so that I get the look that I want. And you really don't have a ton of control with this, but this is how I 
feel like it looks like a galaxy background. So cool. Then I used my heat tool to dry it a little bit. And now I am setting the scene with the two bunnies. And I also had the chick and I was like, no, I don't like him on the front. He's going to go on the inside. At first I wasn't sure if I was even going to use him, but I do end up putting him on the inside. And then I'm using the banners here on the side. Getting everything into place and then I'm going to glue everything down. I am using the glue press and I really, really like it. I feel like it's easier to have control with your glue. You're not squeezing it so much and I just feel like I'm more in control with this glue and this handy tool. I really like it. You can yeah, definitely check it out if you are interested and watch some reviews and everything and see if it is for you. So just gluing everything down and I will show you the finished card at the end, but for some reason when I was working on these sentiments, I did not hit record. I thought I did, but I think I got distracted. I was in the creative mode and I had turned my camera off for a minute and I forgot to hit record. So you're going to see the sentiment at the end, but you're not going to see it here. So here it is where I'm struggling with the glasses. I put the glasses on, you know, I could have made it work, but I was like, no, I like them without the glasses on this card. So then I'm just cutting off the extra banners here or the banners hanging over the side of the card and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment. So I stamp the sentiment, I use hello, and then I use just the word Easter from the Simon Says Stamp Easter sentiment strips. So you'll see that here in a minute, but let's work on the inside of the card. So I'm using the extra leftover pieces that just kind of pop out from the banner die, and I'm just placing them everywhere on the top of the inside of the card. Ta-da! It's Easter! Maybe it's like Easter blessings falling. And then I'm going to put that chick here in the inside as well, and the Easter blessings, the fun, the fun pops of color, confettis of color are falling on the chick. So getting them into place, figuring out where I want them, and then I can go ahead and glue them down. I really like how this card turned out. It's so fun. The bunnies are so cute. So, so cute. So let's get this confetti into place. And then the chick and then the card will be done and I will show you a close-up of all of the details. So there is the sentiment, Hello Easter, and then the inside with the colorful confetti. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Happy Easter!